who was the worst coach in the 49ers? Wow, well, it was hard because <laughs> uh, what everybody expected, I think, when they read or when, when you said this, this the name of this award, they saw that I would say I would say Kai Shanahan because uh, I critiqued him so much this season. Uh, I always found a bad call or a bad decision from Kai Shanahan, but he showed some 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 great things this season as well mm -hmm. what didn't make us forget all those mistakes that he made but i think that this season the worst coach wasn't kai shanahan but it was john benton oh that's what i had yep that's what i got right here john benton the offensive line coach why about that <laughs> well should i explain that just look at this offensive line right now i think that if you are just looking the performance that they did this year it was it was i can't find the word it was so bad no, I've the never word seen... is embarrassing embarrassing yeah. yeah it was an embarrassment i think yeah yeah it was they got pathetic. two quarterbacks hurt yeah it was pathetic i think pathetic. they led the yeah. league in quarterback hits allowed by about 13. wasn't even close they got two quarterback hits uh two quarterbacks hurt mike mcglinchy lost like 30 pounds and his technique is is disgusting Lake and Tomlinson is the most overrated player on the team. He got, he wins awards every year. He got Jimmy. <laughs> um, Big Golden Nuggets makes a good point. Uh, Shane Day. I'd have to say it's neck and neck between the quarterback coach and the offensive line coach. It's almost like the chicken and the egg. Yep. Which one's worse? Who's responsible for the pressure? The offense, the, the awful offensive line, or the awful quarterbacks? That's a tough one. But both of them would be one and two, one A, one B. But I'm going to go with the offensive line. I mean, come on, they got the quarterbacks hurt. Yep. So I, I, if if they are not going to fire John Benton this off season, I think that then we can talk about the next year's award from uh, the the worst, the greatest mistake that the front office did. I will give them the uh, a golden fumble award next year if yeah if they are not going to fire John Benton. They should fire John Benton. I'm gonna say it right now. Kyle, look at me. Fire John Benton. Hire George Warhop. He used to be the offensive line coach for the 49ers. He coached Joe Staley when Joe Staley was young. He's bounced around the league. He's one, he's one of the only, if not the only, African-American offensive line coaches in football. He's fantastic. The last couple of years, he was with Jacksonville. Uh, Doug Marone just got fired. So you might be able to get George Warhop. I'm telling you right now, he's better than John Benton. Listen to me, Kyle. I got a name for you. And if you don't get George Warhop, Robert Sala might get him. Fire John Benton. And fire Shane Day, too. I don't know who you want to hire as your quarterback's coach. Matt Schaub, he just retired. Maybe <laughs> Jeff Garcia is hanging around. I don't know who you got. Maybe get Rich Gangarello back. But none of these guys could be worse than, than Shane Day. Nope. All right. Um, let's move it on. The worst non-player unit. Well, it was also a hard decision because the – players health and performance team and the strength and conditioning team were head to head uh, yes. but after that interview when uh, shanahan said that the doctors messed up something in shanahan's knee uh, in uh, sherman's knee and mm -hmm. after that that uh, all our players uh, had some setbacks this season who we were waiting to to come back to the team i must say it's ben peterson and the player health and performance team i agree i'm not gonna i'm not gonna uh criticize the perf like the training staff for the lack of off season because yep that, there were restrictions that was really out of their hands and the players kind of needed to take care of themselves but yeah i mean for two years it's the the word uh setback we've heard it like 50 times Yep. Oh, he's actually going to be, he's going to take him a little bit longer to come back. What <laughs> happened, Ben? This is a guy they got from the NHL. He had zero football experience. And uh, yeah, I agree. Ben Peterson staff. 